There are two kinds of shed. The purely functional, for keeping your garden tools in, and a few spiders. Then, there are the super sheds, like this one. Stencil artist Luke Hollingworth, known in the trade as Sid, has already won best in category for his shed, a workshop studio in his garden in Malmesbury. But it is much more than that. We've got a wood burner. This is a living tree that grows straight through the roof. I um, reinterpreted the um, Sistine Chapel in my shed. Every man should have the Sistine Chapel in his shed, surely. I lovingly call this area uh, the half hog. You can sit on the vegetable patch just here, and there's people in the bar, and it's a bigger area, really. Much bigger area. In case you're thinking sheds are a bit blokey, think again. Meet Mrs Hollingworth and daughter, both confirmed shed lovers. <coughs> We get a lot of pleasure out of the shed. Um, it's a good excuse for us to um, get friends round and have a bit of socialising, because since we've had the little one, um, we don't tend to go out much anymore. Be honest, does your husband use it as a bolt hole sometimes? Definitely when the little one was very young and we had some sleepless nights, he would slip off there in the afternoons and I'm sure he was getting his head down for a few Please hours. Please don't tell me he sleeps in the shed. <laughs> no! I think he definitely does, yeah. What was the inspiration for this shed? It's probably a mixture of inspiration and perspiration, I guess, um, that's um, yeah, evolved over four years and had a lot of fun doing it. Luke will find out tomorrow if he gets Shed of the Year title. But he's up against some stiff competition, like this office shed in Modbury in Devon, owned by John Sullivan. There are other less conventional sheds too, but not many of them have a gorilla, a skeleton, a bar, an art gallery, a sofa, a wildflower roof, a tree growing up through the middle. This is a shed head's shed. But will it be the best? We'll let you know. Ken Goodwin, ITV News, Wiltshire.